Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create splash screens for your game. So, I have a simple main menu here, it doesn't actually do anything, but let's just imagine this is the main menu to your game. So, previous to that, you would have the made in Unity, but you'd also maybe want to develop by your game studio in association with another one. So, what we'll do is we'll go File, and we'll do a new scene. And this new scene will have, let's say, a game object of UI, raw image, and let's have it black, and let's have it covering the entire scene. So, stretch, entire window, 0, 0, 0, 0. And let's have this one as, for example, the logo for me. So, game object, UI, raw image, drag and drop onto there, so we can see already. This is going to be one of the splash screens. So let's save that scene. Let's save it in my splash folder. Let's have this as splash one. And what we need to do is file, build settings, add open scenes. And then let's create, let's say another one to say in association with. So file, new scene. And obviously you would have these splash screens designed how you would want them to be. If you've got animations on there, that's great just logos, you know, it's it's however you want it. So I'll show you the process of how it can actually be done. So I'm going to have this black and let's have some white text just to say, I don't know, in association with Mrs. Vegas. And let's have that as large text. Let's have 36. Okay, so I have two splash screens now. So let's save that one in my splash folder and splash two. Remember, build settings and add open scenes. And then finally, what we need to do is in our main menu, also make sure that is in your build settings. So if we go to splash one, and what we need to do is create, and we'll do C sharp script, and we'll do splash sequence so best way to do this is well i'll tell you what i'll explain just a little the process of what's going to happen here because we're going to use the same uh, script to do the entire thing and the best way we can possibly do this is to have um something called scene management and scene management obviously helps you switch um, from scene to scene. And yeah, it's it's a pretty good thing to use. There are different ways of doing it, like application.load level, but I do believe it is deprecated now, so it probably isn't um, worth using that. But I think you can still use it. You'd have to have a quick little look to see if it is entirely possible. So firstly, what we'll do is using unity engine dot scene management semicolon and I think what I'll do is get rid of void update and get rid of any notes because we don't need that and we'll do public int and let's see we'll just do scene number in fact we'll have that as static just in case in case we need it for anything else so public static scene number and what we do is we do two if statements so if scene number is equal to zero which it will be when we start then do the following and we're going to need some coroutines so start co routine and we'll call the first one two splash two open close bracket close bracket semicolon close curly bracket and then another one if scene number equals one open curly bracket then start co routine and then two main menu Open close bracket, close bracket, semicolon, and uh, close curly bracket to close that entire section. So that's the if statement, and that closes our void. So I enumerator 
and it's called two splash two open close bracket open curly bracket let's go down a few lines and close so the idea of what we're going to do here is let's say wait for a couple of seconds just for that splash screen to display so yield return new wait for seconds five semicolon then after that five seconds what we need to do is scene manager dot load scene and then we put the number of what we're going to so in build settings we're going to scene number one so we can just put number one semicolon and last thing to do after that or rather I think I'll do it just before the scene changes we'll do scene number equals one and then that's that I enumerator done so the second one same sort of thing I enumerator and we'll call it to yeah we call it to main menu up close bracket open curly bracket and then we'll do the same again yield return new wait for seconds and five and after that scene number equals two just to make sure and scene manager dot load scene two because two was our main menu and then close curly bracket and save that script so this script now needs to be applied to both of our splash screens so game object create empty drag and drop onto that one save and then on splash two same again game object create empty splash screen and save that there so we're on splash one so imagine you're playing your game from scratch now and this is the first splash screen you see so after five seconds it will load the second splash screen and then after another five seconds it will load the main menu so it's again a sequence of events that we would use to display however many splash screens you would want before your main menu as long as at the end of it it recognizes that the main menu is the last point so you don't need this splash sequence uh, script on the main menu so guys that is how you create splash screens in unity and thank you very much for watching